You're planning on selling your home. What should you do first? What do you need to think about? Before you put your house on the market, you should do a pre-home inspection. It's like giving your house a health checkup before putting it on the market. We've got some good news and we've got some bad news. Why is no one talking about this? Wait, why do a pre-inspection when a buyer is going to do an inspection anyways? Exactly. To avoid surprises later. Why am I supposed to pay for an inspection when the buyer's supposed to pay for it? Imagine listing your South Bay house with me, a real estate agent. You get an offer. Yay! The buyer hires some home inspectors. They hand you this lengthy report with a huge fix-it list. You're initially offended because you always have kept your house in good order, right? Well... Every property has a list, even brand new construction. This inspection will discover hidden problems in your house. Then you have the chance to either repair it, if it's big, you should, or you can easily advise home buyers of what the glaring problems are before they write an offer. If you wait until the buyer you know, does a home inspection, it can be stressful and costly for you, the seller. For example, a buyer might find a leaky roof or a foundation problem or faulty wiring leading to the second negotiation. And that's a potential deal breaker, right? A pre-inspection gives you a heads up so you can address these issues before they become a problem inside a deal. National stats show that of all the purchase contracts that get canceled, 65% of them are stemming from problems from the home inspection and the property condition. Hello? In my number one best-selling book, Dwelling Selling, chapter three, I write, if you pre-inspect, you will deflect. Oh, and you don't have to even pay for the pre-inspection because I pay for it. Why? Well, because it was my great idea in the first place. Well, I've never done a pre-inspection before. Tell me another reason why. Why? Well, you can control the narrative then. So knowing the issues beforehand lets you control the conversation instead of being caught off guard by a buyer's concerns and you can address them proactively. For instance, if you know your roof needs replacing, you can replace the roof prior to selling or disclose this up front and probably end up negotiating a price reduction. This also builds trust with your buyers because it shows that you're being transparent and that you're willing to address major issues. Instead of having to do a huge list of big things, you can get some of the little things done beforehand. And if you've handled the big things already, then that repair list will be very short and the buyer won't have much to complain about, thus leading to an easy, successful closing for you and your buyer. Hey, if you're enjoying this, please like and subscribe for more like this. I really appreciate it. If you have an older house, let's just say 1980s and older, you definitely need to have your sewer pipe scoped. It's been a huge issue here in the South Bay, Los Angeles, because a lot of these homes are old and so is the plumbing. Tree roots are the biggest culprit for sewer line issues, but the replacing one is a big expense. You know, finding out in escrow the, from the buyer's inspections that the sewer line needs replacing, you're going to net a lot less than if you replaced it prior to putting it on the market. I know what you're thinking. What am I thinking? Why a lot less, Daryl? Well, buyers don't generally know how much things cost. So they usually they guess, their guess will be a lot higher than what things actually cost. So doing big repairs prior to going market will net you a lot more than if you do that as is thing because a buyer will usually ask way more for those repairs than they would actually cost if you would have done them prior to the market. And now you're stuck. You either meet their demands or they cancel. <gasps> If they cancel, that's good, right? We can get rid of them and get somebody else. <laughs> well, going back to that, it might work out that way, or except for one thing. Remember earlier when I said, hidden problems in your house, then you have the chance to either repair it, if it's big, you should, or you can easily advise home buyers of what the glaring problems are before they write an offer. This all depends on you and the property though, right? If it's your 
grandparents' house and, you know, you just inherited and you don't have a lot of cash to do stuff and just don't do anything. We'll just see what the buyer says about it because the property just might be worth lot value. So there's no need to pre-inspect or do repairs prior to that. hundred percent about price at that point. Does that make sense? But there are occasions where we're still going to do that pre-inspection. Then we can disclose to the buyer everything that the inspector found in that report in advance and less surprises equal higher chance of closing escrow and more cash for you. Also, a pre-inspection can identify things like cosmetic issues that can be easily fixed to boost your home's curb appeal which increases its value. For instance, the inspector finds you know, peeling paint or overgrown landscaping. You can address those issues before putting it on the market. Curb appeal is what your home looks like when a prospective buyer drives up. What's your home's first impression? Usually, doing this makes your home well, look more attractive to potential buyers and can help you command a higher price. It's like dating. You're not gonna show up in a dirty t-shirt and torn jeans on the first date, are you? No, you'll hopefully shower and make yourself look more presentable. Knowing your home's condition in advance gives you peace of mind. You can sell with more confidence, you can negotiate less and avoid post-sale surprises. Lawsuits for non-disclosure. Instead of worrying about you know, hidden problems, you can focus on showcasing your home's best features and this will take away a huge stressor from you as well as from your buyers who will be less willing to cancel the transaction, knowing what the issues are upfront and or knowing what you've already addressed. A pre-inspection is a small investment for a big payoff. It's the smart move for home sellers who want a smooth, almost stress-free <laughs> experience by knowing your home's condition up front. You can control the narrative. You can negotiate effectively. You can enhance your curb appeal and you'll sell with confidence for more money. If you know someone who might want to know this, please forward this on. I appreciate it. Email or text me here if you'd like to you know, discuss this further. Oh, and if you pre-inspect, you will deflect. Why won't anybody talk about this?